This is Richard. This is the cold steel uh, website for the Recon 1 knife. And when you look, this is, by the way, a 18-inch screen. And looking at the Recon 1, cold steel, you think American-made, and now this little part right here, now with U.S. and try to focus, now with U.S. carpenter, whatever. It's not. It's not made in the U.S. It's made in Taiwan. See, you see here, recon. What you don't see and what Cole still will tell you is right here, it says Taiwan. So you need to really, really, really get really close to see the Taiwan. And that, because they put a picture right here, you need to zoom in. You will never see the little writing here made in Taiwan. But they say, oh, no. It's in the picture, so no, you're not going to get your money back. So, 169 bucks. And look at the description where it's made. They, didn't told, they, didn't, they don't say where it's made at all. So, they make you believe or assume that it is American-made. Now, with U.S.-made carpenter, whatever. But this little guy right here, it's not little. It is a big knife. A recon one. Turn it over. Cool steel Taiwan. I argue that this knife will not retain its value and it is not as good as a US made knife. They told me they got a good resale value. I'm sorry, but for a hundred and seventy nine bucks, hundred and sixty nine bucks, sorry, I can get a perfect Gerber a buck a real US made knife that will put this knife to shame I don't believe that a made in Taiwan knife will keep his resale value up compared to a real USA made knife so thank you Recon uh, sorry thank you Cole still for not taking back your knife not signing behind your product and letting people think that we're buying USA made stuff when they're not this is all Taiwan stuff you have so this is the last time I buy, and I tell people, don't buy from Cold Steel. Go look up and encourage real USA-made knife. Thank you.